what's up guys this is Sunny and I'm back with another video I just finished installing my CPU air cooler and I'm just loving it it looks good it goes with all my red uh, red and black look and I'm just loving the way it's looking in my computer my rate is just definitely beautiful I will definitely tell you guys to go buy one if you are into air cooler than other than water cooler now I did use a uh, liquid cooler H55 and I was getting a great temperature out of it uh, even I overclock I was getting really really good temperature out of that so I, I really really like my H55 cooler now H55 cooler is not really a overclocking cooler is more more like a quiet hydro cooler but I did overclock with the H55 and handle is really good uh, but it's a single red so can accept nothing crazy from it. So let's just get back to um, the Thermotech uh, Nix C4. Thermotech Nix C4 is a great air cooler. Um, I now I didn't overclock yet. I just wanted to show you guys the stock uh, temperature, stock CPU temp with the stock clock speed. Now for from for now, I'm just loving it. The temperature is kind of lower than my H55 so my H55 was doing about like 30, 31, 29 something like that now the uh, Thermotake uh, Nix C4 is doing about <laughs> 26, 27 and 30 so kind of surprised uh, comparing it uh, with the liquid cooler and air cooler because I was thinking the liquid cooler uh, my H55 will beat this thermal uh, Nix C4, but nope, the air cooler kind of beat the uh, liquid cooler, so I'm really surprised. So, other than that, uh, there is one thing really disappointing to me when I installed this air cooler. The bracket uh, is really stiff and the screws are really short. So when I was putting the um, the cooler on and I put the bracket the one goes right over the CPU and then screw on the two side um, <laughs> it just screws are too short and I felt like if I press it a little bit more I maybe I damaged my CPU now that's a 300 some change uh, dollar CPU I have Core i7 4790k uh, and I don't want it damaged so what I had to do I had to get some four rubber ring and then put that and then put the bracket and then put the metal with the screws and then tie it up now i'm really disappointed this is well over fifty dollar cooler and i really didn't accept that uh, from them so i don't know uh, i don't know what to tell thermotech but please make sure next time you you know add better screws and maybe just add some rubber ring Alright guys, so enough talk, uh, as you can see I have my um, H55 here, I just took it off, like I said, I love H55, I love liquid cooler, because you could do a um, hell of uh, overclocking and stuff, but like I said, um, I will try everything I tried with my liquid cooler, I'll try with the uh, Thermotech, uh, the air cooler, definitely loving the look, uh, let me just give you guys a real quick shot there. Okay, as you can see, this uh, air cooler is fitting so nicely in my rig, it's uh, not touching my RAM, and I have those, those RAMs are G-Shock uh, Rig Joes, they're, they're high, they're a little higher than the regular, so even even though still fitting beautiful, like, this this air cooler is sitting there like it belongs there, so, loving it, guys. I, I will I would recommend this cooler to someone who does overclock or you know someone who is building a red and black or you know if you're building any other color you could just uh, change the fan to a different color and they will match with your rig. Okay guys so real quick okay one thing I don't have any software right now uh, for testing temperature side to side so what I did basically I took a screenshot of uh, both of both of my uh, okay let me zoom in a little bit okay as you can see 
On the left I have a uh, Corsair H55 temp and on the right I have a uh, Thermotech Nix C4 temp. So as you can see here I'm getting with the H55 liquid cooler 29 and then uh, 28 and then 30 and then 29. So if we come to um, the Thermotech uh, Nix C4 the first core I'm getting 26, second core I'm getting 27, or the fourth core, third core uh, I'm getting 30, and the fourth core I'm getting 27. So it's not a big difference, but there is difference, and this air cooler is keeping is quick, keeping the CPU cooler than the liquid cooler uh, H55. Um, like I said, the H55 is not a really high-end uh, liquid cooler, but still a liquid cooler. But it seems like that uh, the Thermaltake uh, Mix C4 takes the win, guys. So I think I'm going to stick with the uh, Thermaltake uh, Nick C4 for a while, do all my overclock and uh, all the rendering and stuff. Now, when I render 1080p video, like a 10-minute video when I'm rendering, my CPU, my CPU temp uh, goes up to like 53 max and that's really good. Um, I really think that's, that's just really really good. So real quick I'll go into window 8.1 uh, cause right now um, the temperature you just seen the temperature, uh, temperature compare as in my Maverick Hackintosh and for some reason I see lower temperature in my Hackintosh than my window 8.1 um, for some reason the H55 liquid cooler was showing in window a little higher temp so let's just jump in and see what's up with the uh, window Just bear with me so I can show you guys the temperature that I'm getting with air cooler. Let me enter the password. Alright. The reason my uh, window boot up real fast, uh, first of all the window is on the fast boot and second um, I have a SSD Kingston uh, V300 so okay let's zoom in so I'm using an open hardware monitor uh, software so if you guys are wondering trying to zoom in Okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing uh, clearly. <clears throat> so the first core, uh, so the first core I'm getting 28, second core uh, 30, and then the third core 30, and the fourth core 29. I didn't really quite understand when I was using the H55 liquid cooler, my window eight, uh, my window platform was showing higher, little higher temperature like 35 sometimes 40 and doing nothing just sitting around but then again my heck and touch was showing a lower temp so I don't know uh, but with this air cooler everything seems fine and working perfect so I don't know guys so as you can see the difference and uh, I'm just loving this uh, air cooler and I'm, I think I'm, I'm gonna stick with that so yeah guys, so the winner is Thermaltake, Thermaltake uh, Nix C4, uh, Thermaltake Nix C4 is a definitely a great cooler and a beastly looking cooler. You guys should definitely check that cooler. Micro Center have Newegg, uh, I believe Amazon, so you know, yeah guys, you know, loving it and I'm just gonna leave it like that. So. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any question leave the comment below and um, just follow me on uh, Google Plus and uh, 
make sure you subscribe so you can see my upcoming video overclocking with the thermal take and uh, I'll, I'll make some video overclocking with uh, H55 again so you know just make sure you subscribe and uh, see you next time peace